Hey guys, it's Marie from Pinder, and I'd like to show you the showcase of my comics collection. Now we'll go to the first ones. Now these are the comics I showcase on my Twitter and Instagram. So this is a Rocco's Modern Life comic that I got from Collector's Corner, where it's around Maryland, Baltimore, and you can find Collector's Corner in any different cities. So yeah. And this here is the Sonic the Hedgehog IDW Comics, issue 14. Well, this one is issue 17 of Rocco's Modern Life, but this one is issue 14. These are one of the first ever comic books of Sonic I got so far. I mean, that's the fun fact. This is the very first comic of Sonic I have. Despite I never had Archie because I never had any Archie books. Too bad they uh, don't make comics anymore. And here's the first manga. It's Mega Man Master Mix. Issue 2. 80 Page Giant. The Blue Bomber Returns. Mega Man Master Mix. Odin? Uden or Odin? I don't know. And here's a signature. Yup, it is from 2017. I really love the cover of this artwork. Uh, I meant to say this. I really love this artwork from the cover. These are for Walmart. Or you can get it like really close to the number one, uh, the first line you see in the conveyor belt. The concession stand, the first one. So, this is the X Men comic, issue number one, the Marvel X Men. I think the, I mean, these are the new ones. It's not the classic ones. So that's why the issues are different. It's a variant edition. And the other was Captain Marvel issue 2. Wow, and they made these covers so well and deviant. And aesthetic when it comes to the shades. I wish I was a best artist like that. Fantastic Force, World's Greatest Week. Kabam! Contest of Champions. Now, Super oops, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, Spider-Man and his Secret Shield, Super Web Slinger Battles for Good. So this here is Venom, I think, or Spider-Man that, that, that's been covered with the Venom's stuff. Oh, this one's rated T. Now they show the rating. So yeah, you get these comics, you know, like three comics in one bag. They want shrink wrap. You can get these in Walmart. When you're at the close, the very first concession stand, not the other ones because they don't sell comics there. It's just candies and toys and chargers. So that's the morning donut. That guy with the motorcycle. Get on a Harley Davidson Street 500. Yeah. Number one. Roll your own. I read these three though. I, yeah, I finished those, the first three. These I haven't been to read yet. Now, here are the bigger comics I've received. Well, it's not really a comic, it's more of a, um, a graphic novel. So, I'm gonna show you the very first Dogman book I ever owned. So. And yeah, these are all Dogman books I have. Now, this one's the very first book I've owned for Dogman. I mean, from Dogman, for Whom the Ball Rolls. So, I find this series very interesting to read because it's the same creator, Dave Pilkey, who created Captain Underpants in different series and graphic novels. So... It would be cool if it has a, an animated movie or a TV series. And this is the second book I have, Dogman Unleashed. It is a bit dirty when you turn when I turn the page. And this is the third one. No wait. Um I got this one and that one at the same day. I guess that's the same day because 
it was like a bit cheaper and it was like 70 no not 70 seven dollars or eight dollars I found this one at Walmart and the rest were from TJ Maxx actually I think I got this from Walmart too so yeah you can find these laying around in TJ Maxx and Walmart and collector's corner too Now here I'm going to show you the last books I have which I buy this week. It was around Tuesday. This is the Rugrats comic. Kaboom number five. That's Reptar. And now for Captain Harlock. The second manga I've owned. These are the other books I haven't read yet. The Legend Reborn. That's Captain Harlock Space Pirate Dimensional Voyage issue number one. Story by Leji Matsumoto. Art by Kuichi Shimaboshi. Sorry for the pronunciations. And the last three I'm going to, that I owned. It's a Robotech comics. Yeah, I know I only watched the Matt Cross Japanese version, but these are the only books I can find in Matt Cross related. Oh, well, these are the back covers. And also, I live in America. So that's why I've never had any uh, Matt Cross mangas. If they do have it, I don't, I'm not sure. The back covers are the same as the other one, except this one. This comic is reminding me of every reason why I love Robotech in the first place. I'm not going to read the rest of it, so you guys are going to read it by pausing the video. Here are the back covers of the Sonic comic. And, uh... The Rockles Modern Life comic. I'm not going to show you the Mega Man manga because it's just the same thing and it's nothing special really. And that's about it. All the comics I've showcased. I will buy some more soon in Collector's Corner, Barnes & Nobles, which I haven't bought anything from Barnes & Nobles yet. TJ Maxx and Walmart. I'm going to read these very soon, so I hope this is going to be fun. It's Marie from Pender, and thank you for watching.